Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Division video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about classified gear and is it too hard to obtain classified gear after a global event has ended. That is what we're going to be focusing on today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, make sure you guys drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Make sure you guys give as much support as you guys possibly can, whether or not that's in the comment section below, giving some recommendations on how they can help it, how we can help it as a community, um, whether or not it's through this video or Twitter or whatever it might be through Reddit. Make sure you guys help this video get out there, as well as anyone else that's made very similar videos to me. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. So first off, just want to let you guys know before we get further into the video, um, Call of Duty is going to be coming out. The new one's going to be coming out um, in about nine days from today, I believe. So uh, if you guys want to see me mix it up a little bit on this channel uh, with a mixture of like Call of Duty, if you guys like that game, or just want to see some variety on this channel um, of Call of Duty and a mixture of Division, uh, make sure you guys let me know because I've already basically retired uh, Destiny 2 off my channel. I just haven't played it in like two months. It's kind of boring to me, and I don't have anyone to play with. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, but yeah. So quickly, uh, the reason why I'm actually making this video, uh, one, for me personally, I feel like there are definitely some changes that need to be made for the classified gear uh, actually post-global event, so after a global event ended. Um, I do think that some changes need to be made. We'll talk about the, the recommendations and some examples that we might be able to give a little bit farther into the video. And then second, obviously, uh, if you guys watch Marco, uh, he made an absolutely fantastic video. If you guys want to go check it out, make sure you guys do that. I will put a link in the description. It was very, very detailed. He put a lot of time into it. I know that for a fact. Uh, you guys might get a little bit confused when he shows the math into the video and whatnot and the drop rate, percent rate, percent rate drop and whatnot. Uh, but he put a lot of detail into that video, so you guys should probably go check it out. That's one of the other reasons why I'm making this video. Uh, but yeah, I just think that personally some changes need to be made uh, to classified gear and I'm going to give you guys some uh, some reasons and maybe you guys can help me as well as well as everyone else in the community on giving some examples and some recommendations just in general um, on how the classified gear can be improved and the drop rate can be improved and how people can get classified gear just in general a little bit easier, a little bit faster. So quickly talking about the Dark Zone and global events after one has ended. Now obviously we don't have a global event that is currently active as of right now. So the only methods on how to get classified gear that you might need after it's ended is through the Dark Zone and through caches. Now uh, caches, I'm not sure specifically if it's all caches, uh, but I know I've seen people get them from survival caches, Dark Zone caches, and also the proficiency caches as well. Uh, you might be able, to be able to get them through other caches as well, but I just know those three are for sure. And then obviously the Dark Zone is the other method that people use. That is a 3% drop rate for the Dark Zone killing name bosses and a 1% drop rate for the caches, which is survival, Dark Zone, and proficiency. Like I said, there might be more, but I'm not necessarily sure. So quickly, I want to focus on an example that I've seen on Twitter a lot, and I also saw in Marco's video as well, and I wanted to respond to this because this is basically geared and perfectly fit for me as well. Uh, most of you guys can probably agree with this as well. So uh, during the last global event, uh, I was focusing on sentries and striker mostly. I didn't really care about any other classified gear pieces that I got other than sentries and striker. I had a full striker except for one piece, and I was missing a holster. Every time I opened a GE cache, the 1500 ones, I just kept on getting everything other than that classified striker holster. And I was just so unlucky. I was unable to get my last piece of striker, which was the holster. And the global event ended. You know, there was no other way for me to get other than the Dark Zone and caches. I've been farming. I haven't even gotten lucky enough to get a piece of classified gear from the Dark Zone or caches. Uh, but the reason why I want to talk about this is because I think a lot of you guys probably are in the same situation as me, uh, and you guys might be needing one or two pieces to complete that full sentries or striker, whatever classified gear set that you guys might need. Now, obviously, uh, with the Dark Zone as of right now in caches, um, every classified piece of gear uh, through the last global events that were activated uh, were thrown into the wild, I guess you can say, for the Dark Zone in caches. So you're able to get uh, those pieces of gear from the last two global events uh, in the Dark Zone or caches, and your percentages are very, very low. I'm not going to give you guys an exact uh, percent of what you would need uh, to, or what the percent would be for you to need to get that last piece or maybe those last two pieces of classified gear to, to complete your set because... Let's just say this, you probably have a better chance of winning the damn lottery than probably getting that last piece of gear, whether or not Sentry, Striker, Reclaimer, whatever you might need, you probably have a better chance of getting uh, struck by lightning or winning the damn lottery. That's exactly how low it is. I'll give you guys a hint, it's lower than actually 1%, so if you guys want to know statistic, that's how low it is. 
But I want to talk about that because it was a pretty good example I saw on Twitter, especially a lot. Um, a lot of people just talking about that they need one or two pieces to complete that set. And also, um, Marco did give a little bit of examples sort of like that in his video. So I want to talk about that sort of since uh, it was basically geared towards me and a lot of you guys could probably relate to that as well. But lastly, I want to talk about some examples of changes that they can make for classified gear in 1.8. Quickly starting off, the first obvious change they could probably make is just straight up increasing the drop rate for the Dark Zone and caches. Um, right now, the Dark Zone is only a 3% drop rate from killing named bosses. They could change that to like 5 or 6% to just make people in general from the community and people that play the game still just a little more of an incentive to be able to still farm and play the game in general so they don't give up and not want to play the game anymore. And then maybe change the cache from 1% to 3% because Caches are pretty easy to get, and a lot of people get a lot of caches, so increasing the drop rate too high would be too easy, and a lot of people would start getting too many pieces of classified gear. Next, introducing a cache that gives you a chance at getting a piece of classified gear. So, a classified gear cache that you buy with Phoenix credits. Through the word Phoenix credits out there is because we have nothing to spend the damn things on right now. I max probably 100% of the time since they've introduced more methods on to be able to get Phoenix credits, so... Um, since we're always max on them, they might as well throw some damn classified gear cash that we can buy with Phoenix credits. I don't care if it's 4,000, 1,000, 100, 250. I don't give a shit because I don't have anything to spend them on. So please, if you guys are watching Massive Ubisoft, whoever it is that makes this damn game, introduce classified gear cash so I can use my Phoenix credits on something and have them to waste them on because I have nothing to use them on. Next, this is something I could definitely 100% see them adding into the game for 1.8, is a weekly and daily cash slash challenge. That gives you a chance, once again, I said chance, not a guaranteed drop rate, a chance at a form of classified gear. Maybe it's like 10 to 15% drop rate um, at getting a piece of classified gear. You have the weekly one that maybe guarantees you one, then you have a daily one that has like a 10% drop rate. So then it gives people the incentive to hop on every single day, complete that daily challenge, and then also farm that weekly challenge as well. So they get that piece of exotic gear and also that guaranteed piece of classified gear. Next. So all these next two on Twitter, so I want to talk about these specifically. Um, having specific missions that drop specific piece of gear. So uh, I'll just throw Lexington out there since I think personally that's probably the most farm mission in the game right now because you have a lot of different exotics. And then for global events, that's a mission that a lot of people farm solo. So uh, for example, say you need a piece of striker or sentries that you need to complete your full classified gear piece. And Lexington just so happens to be that specific mission that drops those two specific gear pieces. You farm those for maybe two or three days and you finally complete your classified gear set and you're happy. That's one example they could add and it's pretty simple to do that as well. They did that with the exotics. They could probably do the same thing with classified gear as well. Next, once again, like I said, saw this on Twitter as well. Deconstructing classified gear gives you classified materials. When you craft something, it gives you a chance at getting a piece of classified gear, whether or not it's a blueprint, whatever it might be, recalibrating, whatever. The next thing is sort of very similar to this, is sort of having a new recalibration system or a new upgrade system where you throw a piece of old maybe so for example you guys are trying to get a last piece of centuries call classified you have a centuries call harness that you need you throw a regular piece of centuries call harness in there you throw them there with a few maybe two three four hundred Phoenix credits and then you throw some materials and some division tech in there and that equals a chance of getting a piece a chance at a piece of classified gear so after you put it through, you do the last thing, uh, and it just gives you your old piece of classified gear, or your old piece of gear if it doesn't, you know, convert it into a piece of classified gear. Um, saw that on Twitter. I thought that was pretty nifty, pretty cool, so I wanted to throw it in there. I'm not specifically sure who talked about it. I just saw someone retweet it, so I wanted to throw it in there. But, uh, yeah, that is basically it. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, I don't care if it's stupid, if it's good, please throw in the comment section below. Um, retweet the video on Twitter, favorite it, like it, whatever you guys got to do. Um, I just want it to be implemented in the game, something made to the game so that people uh, just don't give them the game because I feel like a lot of people um, who were not lucky enough to be able to either play during the global events or if they did play during the global events, they had really bad luck, really bad RNG, and they were unable to get full pieces of classified builds like I was since I'm missing one piece of striker holster from my build. Um, I just want this to get out there. I want to raise some awareness for this video. Uh, a lot of other people have made videos, so I want to make one following up for everyone else. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any examples that you guys want to throw in the comments, once again, make sure you guys do that. I don't care if it's good or if it's stupid. As long as someone sees it, it's a positive. I don't care who sees it. Just in general, it needs to be seen. Everyone needs to speak out, and they need to have their own word. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like on kind of subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Thank you guys for watching. I know I haven't been uploading that much. It's just sort of like a dry streak right now where there's really not that much to upload because I feel like I've exhausted everything on the PTS right now for playing and streaming wise. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.